Marvin Hitz pulled off one of football's dirtiest tricks to get away with a penalty that had been awarded against his team, Augsburg, in the Bundesliga. Well, just watch what Hitz is doing here. He's just trying to kick up the ground a little bit by that penalty spot. Den Punkt selber habe ich nicht bearbeitet. Ich habe den, den Platz nebenan ein bisschen bearbeitet. Klar, das ist. With the heel of his boot, he decided to move the grass surrounding the entire penalty spot. The idea was masterful. And what was the best thing? That the referee would never notice. Macht nicht so schön, wenn man es im Nachhinein sieht, aber in so einem intensiven Spiel mit so hitzigen Zuschauern macht man manchmal Sachen, die man für sich nicht kennt. Und ja, klar, ich will es nicht mehr machen. In his head, what he was doing was working perfectly. That's because even when the opponents wanted to warn the referee, he completely disregarded what they were telling him. Yeah, he's just trying to kick up the ground a little bit by that penalty spot. And that's something that Rissa is pointing out to the referee. The task was completely done. The grass was completely removed and all that was left to do was to wait for Anthony Modest to get ready to take the penalty. He hasn't scored in two months. A Bundesliga football, and he's denied by the goalkeeper. Hits makes the save. It stays 0-0. The match would end with a result in favor of Augsburg. But the goalkeeper's actions were not to his coach's liking. Despite the win, he was very clear and critical of the goalkeeper. He didn't act well. He didn't act cleverly. But of course, behind this dirty trickery was a deep desire in Hits' heart. I had never saved a penalty before. So we thought it would be best to make the kicker a bit insecure. And well, not only did he insecure him, he made him slip. I suspect that Kern will not be happy with the state of the penalty spot in the end. What a great game we have on now. But I'm sure this will be a talking point. Football has often been a live sport. And of course, whoever knows how to make the most of things, no matter how unethical and dirty they may be, in the end, they can end up imbalancing the match. But then again, they don't always work out so well. El lateral lo va a tomar Alex Ibarra. En el 76. Pide Montaño. Uy, manotazo de Montaño. Contra Carrasco que la exageró además. Qué pícaro tuvo Carrasco allí. Casi, casi que Carrasco le llevó a Montaño la mano. Fíjate. Fíjate lo que hace Carrasco. Por favor, Carrasco. Por favor, Carrasco. Poca vez he visto en el fútbol. But of course. There were others much more memorable than this one, and football has become a sport where the trickery is much more eye-catching than a play that can dazzle the world. And that is why there are historic examples that will stay in the fans' minds forever. But there's the handball by Ori. And by the way, not just once, George, but twice. It's actually hit him on the arm and then he's controlled it with his hand. And Ri's handball would mean France's qualification for the 2010 World Cup in South Africa. And well, it's not too difficult to remember another handball that meant an important triumph for a national team. Hay un montón de situaciones que a lo largo de la historia se han producido que, que yo los encasillo en el idioma del fútbol, eh, del fútbol de, 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 de la picardía, de la travesura, de la trampa. Eh, que generalmente uno eh, la descubre cuando fue futbolista y cometió esas esas eh, eh, esa envergüenzada. The truth is that football still lends itself to this kind of thing, and Marvin Hitz has become the perfect example that if you can take sporting advantage in any way, it's going to be done without any kind of disgust.